Hi 5P, nice to speak to you again. Just recording a message just to tell you how much fun it's been to teach you this year. I know it's been sad that our year together has been cut short, but I've really, really enjoyed having you in my class. It's been absolutely superb, loved every minute of it. Uh, and I can think of many things this year in a time that we've had together that will uh, stick in my memory uh, as we move on. PE, how competitive you all are, but also how brilliant you were uh, when you played sports such as rugby, football, um, you worked together really well, you um, demonstrated some fantastic teamwork, and I know we weren't all the most confident at a sport, and that's okay, but I love the fact that you always seem to have a go. So I will remember that for sure. Maths games, times table games, again, that competitive spirit coming through, Superb work with your times tables out on the playground, uh, one versus one in the classroom, super stuff. I will also uh, remember you for some of your more crazy writing this year. Your arguments about whether we should go to Mars or not stick in my memory. Uh, I remember in particular, not everybody was uh, sure we should go. In fact, possibly only one person thought we should go to Mars. But fair play to them for thinking slightly differently to everyone else, but well done nonetheless. Some wonderful story writing as well. Uh, and also your uh, factual writing that you did as well. I remember before Christmas learning about things like KISS, the band that is, um, which I didn't expect to be reading about in year five. The space topic in particular I've enjoyed as we represented uh, ESA, the European Space Agency this year. Um, I think overall we probably won when you compare us to the other three space agencies, so well done on that one. Uh, I know it's a shame about the trip, um, but obviously you all know that it was way beyond our control um, and just an unfortunate thing that we were unable to go to the Space Centre because I know you would have loved it and hopefully we'll get there one day. Uh, your efforts with the, the rockets, particularly the water rockets, um, I know the, uh, the Coca Mentos didn't do quite so well uh, and some of us ended up slightly soggy, uh, covered in Coke, but you know, it's all part of the learning experience and I will remember that. And also there's been a lot of rapping this year, rapping poetry, performance poetry, um, which I didn't expect. So that was, you know, something that I will hold in my memory uh, of you all. But I know your new teacher will be very lucky to have you. And I know that you, as you step up to year six as a class, because I sometimes forget that you were a brand new class this year, you will be superb. I have no doubt in my mind that when you get into year six, despite the fact we haven't seen each other properly since March, I am still fairly confident that you will step up into year six and you will do a wonderful job. So good luck for when that happens. Uh, and I think now actually it's time for me to uh, go and take you to your new teacher. So hopefully we'll see you soon and here we go. Oh hi 5P, or should I say the soon to be 6M. I'm Mrs Mediman, I'm going to be your new teacher. Come in and I'll show you around. So this will be your new classroom. It's the one directly above 5P, so it's quite similar to Mr Philpott's classroom. Obviously we've got the tables set up a little bit differently um, to how I normally have them at the moment. We can see out, of the, out to the playground from this window where we've got the book corner full of lots of lovely books to choose from. We normally have some nice squishy chairs but those are missing just at the moment. Open Year 6, you guys will have lockers which are out in the central area and you'll have a locker each for all of your stuff. The central area is where we have year band assemblies and do lots of small group teaching. Welcome to Year 6. Mr Philpotts has told me how fantastic you are and I'm so excited to get to know you all. I've taught Year 6 for three years now and it's absolutely my favourite year to teach. I think I might have even taught some of your siblings. Some of you I know from enrichment and things like that already, but I'm really excited to get to know the rest of you properly in the autumn term.
In year six, lots of the things that you've been doing in year five will carry on in year six, like enrichment, for example. We still have all of the certificates like RVD and Star of the Week. Our challenge this year will be to beat 6G at RVD because they won a lot last year. We do the core subjects in the morning like maths, English and reading. And then in the afternoons we do the other subjects like science, art, one of my favourite subjects, DT, history and geography. You'll also carry on with music and Spanish this year. I'm really passionate about teaching all of the subjects, but particularly writing, as I'm on the English team at French. We still manage to fit in lots of times for games, though, up in Year 6, so don't worry. There are also some new, exciting things that are special to Year 6. You'll have the chance to apply to be a house captain, or head boy or head girl. We have the Year 6 residential, which is always a highlight. We also have the Year 6 play and leave the celebrations at the end of the year, which are always a great way to celebrate after your hard work during SATs. Some of you might be feeling a bit nervous about SATs or even coming back to school after so long, but I can assure you, you will soon settle in and you will absolutely love Year 6. Don't forget, the teachers and I will always be here to talk through any worries that you might have. I really hope that you keep up your reading over the summer holidays and maybe practice your spellings and times tables every so often so that you start Year 6 feeling prepared. I'd like to end by wishing you and your families a happy and healthy summer holidays. Let's go and meet the rest of the Year 6 team. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Green. Hi everyone, I'm Mr Powell. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Mediman. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Rofer. Hi everyone. Um, I was just helping Mr Watkins with the sensory garden. We uncovered these strange objects and Ooh, they look wow. very old. I don't know what they are, um, but I've got to get back to the garden now. So I wondered if maybe you could find out for me and see if you can, I don't know, find out what they are. No, I'll see you later. Right. Well, let's have a look. Hmm. This looks like some sort of spinning top, maybe for a game or a toy. Well, this looks like a jug. I wonder what these pictures mean. Oh, I've got two. One looks like a book that you might write in. And some sort of statue. This looks like some sort of mask, maybe like a theatre mask or something. These are really old. They don't look like ancient Egyptian things, do they? No. Oh, I think we better go back in time and find out. I'm Hera, born to a wealthy family with a good name. As an Athenian woman, my sole purpose is to bear and raise children. What I do is regarded as highly important. Surely every woman should only want to be a mother, unlike those Spartans. My name is Stephanos. I'm a highly educated Athenian, unlike those horrible Spartans. I like to read, write music, and study philosophy. And I'm also current Olympic discus champion. Hi, I'm Luna, a wealthy noblewoman from Athens. My family is wealthy, so we have servants. I spend my time appreciating literature and the arts, unlike those uneducated Spartans. I love to go to the theatre and to watch plays to see musical performances. Surely anyone would want to spend their time doing the same. My name is Penelope and I am an Athenian. I, for one, don't need an education like the Spartans. I prefer the simple life, helping out around the home. Isn't that the role of any woman? Okay, this is where we need your help. Can you guys find out what it was like for us Athenians, but also what it was like for our enemy, the Spartans? What side would you choose? When we come back to school in the autumn term, we are going to be creating our very own Year 6 Ancient Greek Museum and we would love for you to try some of these challenges over the holidays and then bring the work that you're most proud of when you start with us in Year 6. There's a whole range of activities that you might like to try. There's some English, some maths, some science, history and geography, some DT, music, Spanish, health and well-being. You can choose as many of those activities as you would like to do. You might want to make a visit 
to the British Museum website where they have their very own ancient Greek uh, department and you will be able to find different resources, different artefacts that have been uncovered from thousands of years ago that give us clues as to who the ancient Greeks were and how they lived. Or you go into BBC Bite Size and find out a little bit about what it was like living in a family in ancient Greek times. Perhaps you'd like to do some DT and make a model of an ancient Greek building such as the Parthenon or you might like to design and make an ancient Greek helmet or shield. There's some nice health and well-being activities. You could try some food that originates from Greece, do a taste test and a bit of a review. Maybe you could find your own recipe with um, Greek origins and give that a try. You might like to listen to some music which was created in ancient Greek times and then think, think of songs that, that you might like that you could change the words to and inspire those ancient Greek soldiers to be courageous and disciplined or to help them concentrate. So, take a look. This will have been emailed out to you with this video and we can't wait for you to come and join us in the autumn term and to show us all the things that you've been doing over the holidays.